Hello again, welcome back. One from Williams Brothers in Alloa in Scotland. And this is called Che Guava. It's a, a radical lager. Uh, bright, fruity, refreshing. Beautiful can art, as always. Uh, Alcohol by volume, 3.5%. Uh, it's a 500ml can. Don't see many of those, but they're much appreciated. Low man on the totem pole. This gluten-free lager de de delivers a totally tropical explosion of a guava gratification. So, I have no idea what to expect. I've never tasted guava before. So let's crack it up. I've got my Williams Brothers glass. So I'm not going to fit all this in, I don't think. A bit hard to pour at the end there. Yeah. Get rid of some of that gas. Andy. <laughs> in the attic. So, let's have a wee look. Nucleated glass, streamy, fast-rising bubbles for the centre. It's crystal clear. It's a very pale gold. A pinky and a half of quite rocky, loose foam. The hard pour is going to die back that. Let's get a few aromas going. It's a, it's a, there is a fruitiness there. I can't identify it. It's like strawberry. Yeah, there's no. See if there's any maltiness. It's like strawberry. It smells really nice. Cheers, my dears. Quite a bit of carbonation there. It's very fruity. My teeth are. It's very fruity. Now, if that's what guava tastes like. It's like strawberry. I'm sure I did read somewhere it was, some did say it was like strawberry and pear. So uh, yeah, I suppose it could be. But it's like strawberry, it tastes like fruit salad, say, chews. A wee bit. There is a slight bitterness there. Like a, a pithy bitterness. Picking up much citrus. Let's have a look at their website. See if they can break it down better than I can. Okay, so it's called Che Guava Radical Lager. Low man on the top pole, this gluten free lager delivers a totally tropical explosion of guava gratification on your tongue. With aromas of tropical fruit, citrus and champagne, this brute style guava lager finishes dry but yet is still very refreshing. Yeah, this finish dry. I'm saying pithy. It's, oh, it's no, it's no that dry. It's got a, a bit, a, quite a soft mouthfeel, so I don't know. A brute style guava lager. I don't know about that. Uh, the tasting notes. The look is extra pale yellow. Smell tropical guava hops champagne. A 
I've not drunk enough of champagne in my life to, 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 to comment one way or another. Taste, juicy, light, refreshing, extra dry finish. Bitterness, half a, half a hop. Uh, sweetness, half a hop. The Brucey Gluten-Free Guava Lager style. ABV 3.5%, IBU 6. I would have said it was more than that. The original Gravity 1027. Malt, Lager Malt, Buckwheat, Vienna Malt, Dextrine Malt. What Vienna Malt gave it like a darker appearance? I don't know. Appearance? Appearance. Hops, Mosaic, Citra, Eucanut and Magnum. Yes, I would, I'm not picking up much citrus there at all. Um, drink Che Guava with fish tacos and pineapple sal salsa. What are they charging for this? Buy now, let's see. 180 a can. That's not bad, that. Eh? 180 for a 500ml can. It's a very pleasant beer. I think that's very reasonable. For a big 500ml. Anyway, it's a nice beer. Try it if you can find it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. I'm going to have to go and buy some guava. That's delicious.